The simplest way you can talk about for any story is to give it a three-part structure. So you talk about a beginning, a middle, and an end. And this is like going back to school and learning about what every story has. Beginning, middle, and end. Okay, so thinking about the beginning, with your thinking about your apprenticeship, you are thinking about before you started. So before you started the apprenticeship, uh, what were you doing? So that's the first thing. So what were you doing? Okay, the second thing is, how did that feel? Um, so were you bored? Were you anxious? Were you whatever? Okay, and crucially here, it's why did you want to start the apprenticeship? So there's three questions for the beginning of the story. Then you get into the story itself, and this is during the apprenticeship. Okay, so again, what are you doing in this time? What are you learning? What are you trying new for the first time? How does this feel? Because learning anything new, doing anything new, is exciting, challenging, dangerous, risky, whatever. It's, 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 it's interesting to know how people feel when they're doing something. Um, and it's also interesting at this point to think about the highs and the lows because it's not all easy, it's not all great, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's, it's difficult. Well, the difficult bits are as important as the good bits when you're telling a story. And finally, you come to the end. So that's either now or after the apprenticeship is finished, okay? The end of the story. So the crucial thing here is what have you learned from your experience? What have you learned from this story? Um, how do you feel now? Indeed. And also interesting is where do you want to go next? Because that throws the story into the future.